Storm. Stacey was on pole position in a dry British Superbike race two at Snetterton as the lights went out. Kyle Wright immediately managed to squeeze through into turn two. And Glenn Irwin had always had also made a good start and eventually got himself past Kyle Wright to take P1 with Storm, Stacey, and Lewis Rollo falling to third and fourth. Gradually, one by one, coming through the field, the likes of Danny Kent, Christian Iden, Andy Irwin, and Tommy Bridewell as well. Further back there, Storm Stacey just managing to get himself back up into third ahead of Ryan Vickers. At this stage here, Christian Iden made it two and one past Danny Kent and Storm Stacey on the approach to the chicane. Glenn Irwin and Kyle Ryder built quite a handsome lead out front, but Tommy Bridewell was doing great things. From 16th on the grid, he'd got past a number of riders to move up inside the top three overall. Spots of rain, though, started to fall. And then there was a bit of a moment for Louis Vallely. Ryder OK, but the bike on fire. Ultimately, it was red flag and restarted. Another five-lap dash in BSB. Glenn Irwin, though, as the lights went out, despite losing out to Kyle Ride into turn one, he soon wrestled his way up into P1 again with that lovely move into Agos. And no one could really lay a glove on him then. A poor start for Tommy Bridewell meant that he had early work to do. Here going through on his teammate Andy Irwin. He then made the move on Christian Inman to move up into the top three overall. And it wasn't long before Kyle Ride was next on his radar down into Murray's. They could not reel in the eventual race winner, though. It was a, a good race as Christian Nidham found his way through on Kyle Ride to take the third spot. Despite Tommy Bidewell's best efforts to reel in Glenn Irwin, it wasn't to be. This was the move from Hidden on Ride, and that's how it finished as the chequered flag went out for a five-lap dash. Glenn Irwin was back to winning ways ahead of his old foe, Tommy Bidewell, with Christian Nidham in third.